thank you for joining us for this exciting royal update. Today, we're diving deep into the fascinating dynamics between Kate Middleton, the Princess of Wales, and Queen Camilla, the Queen Consort, during last year's Remembrance Sunday service. But before we get into the details, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Your engagement helps our channel grow, and we truly appreciate your support. Kate Middleton's gentle reminder to Queen Camilla about royal hierarchy was a subtle display of tradition. The relationship between Kate Middleton and Queen Camilla is often analyzed, but one specific moment during last year's Remembrance Sunday service gave royal fans and experts something special to discuss. This key interaction unfolded as both women stood on the Foreign Office balcony overlooking the Cenotaph in central London, where the British royal family had gathered for one of their most important annual events. It was here that body language experts noticed a very subtle yet telling gesture from Kate towards Camilla, a moment that reminded everyone of the deeply entrenched hierarchy within the royal family. Even at public events like this, the Remembrance Sunday service is a poignant and solemn occasion held each year to honor British and Commonwealth military personnel who sacrificed their lives during both world wars and other conflicts. It is a time for reflection and national gratitude, marked by the laying of wreaths, a two-minute silence, and other ceremonial acts of remembrance. The royal family plays a central role in this event, with each member's position and actions heavily steeped in tradition. Last year's service was the second time that King Charles led the event since ascending to the throne, and the public was keenly interested in how the dynamics among senior royals would play out under his leadership. Standing in their traditional spots on the balcony, Kate and Camilla, both dressed in elegant black coats and hats adorned with pearl jewelry, exuded poise and grace as they watched the ceremony unfold below him. The contrast between the somber mood of the ceremony and the delicate royal interactions above was striking, and for many it only highlighted the complex relationships within the royal family. One of the most interesting observations from the day came from renowned body language expert Judy James, who shared her insights with the mirror. James noted that for much of the ceremony, Camilla and Kate appeared to present a united front, describing them as a strong team. Despite being positioned at opposite ends of the balcony, they seemed to embody a sense of mutual respect and solidarity. The absence of Sophie, the Duchess of Edinburgh, who usually completes the trio of royal wives on the balcony, did nothing to detract from their confident presence. Judy even suggested that they looked like status equals throughout the event. However, towards the end of the ceremony, a small but significant gesture by Kate subtly reminded everyone that, despite their unity, the rules of royal hierarchy remained very much in place. According to the Irish Star, as the service concluded, and the royals prepared to head back indoors, Queen Camilla turned slightly toward the interior of the building. In that moment, Kate made a delicate, almost imperceptible gesture, inclining her head slightly and offering a quiet after-you signal. This gentle act was a clear acknowledgement of Camilla's higher status as queen consort. Camilla responded with a warm smile, showing her appreciation for Kate's respect. This interaction may seem small, but it serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of hierarchy and protocol within the British monarchy. Even in seemingly relaxed settings, royal family members must navigate a web of traditions that govern how they interact with one another and with the public. These moments of deference and respect are crucial in maintaining the monarchy's image of unity and stability, especially as it transitions into a new era under King Charles. Kate Middleton's quiet reminder to Queen Camilla highlights not just the importance of royal hierarchy, but also Kate's deep understanding of her own role within the family. As the future queen consort, Kate is keenly aware of the expectations placed upon her, both now and in the years to come. Her deference to Camilla shows a willingness to respect the current hierarchy, even as she prepares for her own eventual rise in status. 
In many ways, this small gesture is a testament to Kate's growing influence within the royal family. While her public persona is one of elegance and composure, moments like this reveal the depth of her understanding of royal protocol. She knows that even the smallest actions can have significant meaning, and she consistently navigates these expectations with grace. For the royal family, Remembrance Sunday is not just an important event on the national calendar, it is also deeply personal. Many members of the royal family have served in the armed forces, including King Charles and Prince William, and the day holds special significance as a way to honor their own military heritage, as well as the sacrifice of others. This year's Remembrance Sunday, set for November 10, 2024, will be another opportunity for the family to come together in reflection. The event, which takes place at the Cenotaph in London, is always a powerful moment for the nation. King Charles will once again lead the ceremony, laying a wreath at the Cenotaph in memory of those who have given their lives in service. Prince William, the Prince of Wales, will follow in his father's footsteps, taking on an increasingly prominent role in these ceremonies as he prepares for his future as king. While the focus of the day is on remembrance, it also offers a chance for royal watchers to observe the evolving dynamics within the family. The way in which the royals interact with one another, particularly during high-profile events like this, often provides clues about how their relationships are changing. With Queen Camilla and Kate Middleton once again taking their places on the balcony, it will be interesting to see how they navigate this moment and whether there are any further signs of the shifting balance of power within the monarchy. Looking ahead, another major event on the royal calendar is the annual Christmas concert hosted by Kate Middleton. This festive tradition has become one of the highlights of the royal family's Christmas season, drawing attention from royal fans around the world. Set to take place in December 2024, this year's concert promises to be just as spectacular as those before it, with Kate once again taking the lead in organizing the event. The Christmas concert is not only a chance for the royal family to spread holiday cheer, but it also allows Kate to showcase her leadership skills. The event is often filled with festive performances, charity work, and appearances from members of the royal family, making it a beloved tradition in the holiday season. Royal fans are eagerly awaiting Kate's plans for this year's concert, especially in light of her continued recovery following her recent health challenges. While she has been taking a more measured approach to public engagements, the Christmas concert will likely mark a major moment for Kate to step back into the spotlight and continue her role as one of the most beloved figures in the royal family. We want to hear from you. What do you think about Kate Middleton's gentle reminder to Queen Camilla during last year's Remembrance Sunday service? Do you believe gestures like these are important in maintaining royal tradition, or do you think they are simply a product of the monarchy's past? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. And before you go, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates on the royal family, and make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Your support helps us continue bringing you all the latest news and insights from the world of the royals. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.